In this video, I'll discuss the second stage of Elizabeth's exploratory literature review on interfaith dialogue. The second stage was to review and rationalise the first stage of the literature review. Elizabeth came back to her project several months after writing the first draft in order to continue adding resources and to use the project to help prepare her for her comprehensive exams. When Elizabeth opened the project several months later, she realised that she couldn't get back into her original thinking simply by reviewing the project, because the project was not well organised and because she had not added definitions to any codes during the first steps of her analytic process. So at this point she needed to review and refine the coding and the coding scheme across the project as a whole. To do this, Elizabeth retrieved all the coded references for each node that she'd created in the first stage, and based on this she defined them in the node description. To do that, she went to the nodes list, selected each node and opened it. I'll just do that for dynamics of learning. And she read through each coded reference that had been linked to each node. Based on this review, Elizabeth then right clicked on the node, chose the node properties option and added a definition. She also added the date, as you can see. Where relevant, Elizabeth also added quotes from literature to help add more substance to a specific definition. During this process, any codes that Elizabeth identified as repetitive or related to the same concept were merged. Most of the prefixes that she created in task 2b during the first stage remained the same, but one change was that the category of aims became purpose, and if I scroll down, you can see that here. This process of reviewing and refining codes resulted in a list of 139 nodes at this stage of her project. Next, in task 4b, Elizabeth reviewed and refined the broad subject areas covered by her literature resources. To do that, she went back to the files area and looked at the folders. So if you remember from the video about stage one of the process, I said that Elizabeth had nine folders organising her literature files. In this phase then, she reduced them to these five. Some folders were deleted, some were renamed, which Elizabeth did by right clicking and going to the folder properties. And some files were moved between folders, simply by dragging and dropping. So for example, I can just drag this file and drop it into another folder as I showed you in the previous video. Task 4C was to reflect on the literature and the coding that Elizabeth had accomplished so far. Whilst working through Task 4A, she had appended the memos created in Task 2A with additional insights about each electronic resource. Now, in this phase, she added more to the analytic memo she'd created in task 2c concerning areas of discord or disconnect that she was seeing. Specifically, this led to two additional analytic memos to record insights relating to tolerance and communicative learning. So if we look in the folder for literature under memos, we can see the tolerance memo, which I can open up, and this one here, transformative learning and communicative learning, which was a result of merging two memos 